and to be in fellowship uh, with one another. It's so yes. great to see you all this morning. Um, our subject matter, we've been talking about or looking at the subject of the nature of God. In our previous lessons, we've talked about uh, the immutability of God, uh, the aseity of God, and at our last lesson, we talked about uh, the eternal nature of God. Mm -hmm. And so this morning, uh, we will continue to look at other various qualities and characteristics of God. The scripture that we read this morning, Matthew chapter 19, Jesus has an occasion uh, to speak to his disciples and many that were gathered about him. Jesus says in verse number 14, to suffer the little children, allow the little ones to come to me. He says, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. And behold, one comes to him and says, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why do you call me good? There is none good but one. That one is God. But if thou will enter into eternal life, Jesus says, keep the commandments. And from this, we are going to talk about this quality of God this morning. This idea in theology, we call it omnibenevolent. Omnibenevolent. And so, doctrinal point number one, God is omnibenevolent. That is to say that God is all good. Amen. We say it when we come into the church, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Omnibenevolent is God is inherently good. The scripture tells us that God is light. And in him there is no darkness at all. Now that is to say, I don't care how much evil there is in the world, God is good. And I don't care how evil men are, God is still good, even to evil men. Amen. Our God is good to us even when we do not deserve. Because I want you to know that you're 
iniquity. God says, I'm so good that I can, I can forgive the wrong that you've done against me. Forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. And that will by no means clear the guilty. This is what God says of himself, of his own accord. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 31. The scripture says, let the heavens be glad. Let the earth rejoice. Let men say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice and all that is therein. Then shall the trees and the
shall your hand lead me. Your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely in this place, darkness will cover me. Even the night shall be light about me. Why? You're always stressing about your little life. Well, 
use this to say to people, what? This is for, this is for my skeptic. This is for my atheist. This is for my ass agnostic. Why do you find this so amazing that he walked on the water?
In Job chapter 42, Job answered God and says, God, I know that you can do everything. Because you can do everything. You can do anything. And that no thought can be withholding from thee. Uh, who is he that hides counsel without knowledge? Uh, who is he that, that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore, have I uttered that that I do not understand? I've been talking about things that I don't understand. Uh, don't be careful. You can't you can't levy charges against God. You, you, you just don't understand. You just don't understand. 